House of Y'all's platform is cracking its D. Boss React to impress his bed on this whole Nicki Minaj, Jay Z, Lil Wayne, Kendrick, Drake situation, okay? Several of you told me to react to her version because you said that she has a lot of additional information that was left out of the version that I watched yesterday. So, yeah, we're gonna check it out and, and hear what she has to add. Also, side note to the slow niggas in the back if you are tired of this whole Kendrick and Drake discourse, you don't, you don't have to watch the video. Because every time I react to Kendrick or something Drake related these days, I always have people like, you you keep reacting to these videos. You milking this beef. You keep reacting to this. Why you keep reacting to this? You you don't have to watch it. I'm not sending niggas to your house with guns forcing you to watch any of these videos. <laughs> you can tune out of this particular one if you like. I have three other videos that are going up today, so you can check those out. You know, just just reminding you, just in case you were confused. Anyway, uh, let, let's hear what Impressive has to say. Though, let's watch. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Now, it was announced that Kendrick Lamar would be headlining the Super Bowl halftime show next year in New Orleans, and it generated a lot of responses. Now, there were some people who were excited about it, but there were also some people who weren't here for it because they felt like the spot should have gone to Lil Wayne, and I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but I do wanna say I think this is a great look for Kendrick, and I'm pretty excited, honestly, because in my opinion, Kendrick is one of the best hip hop performers of all time. The man can really put on a show. So anybody who thinks he's gonna be boring or he Clock doesn't it. have enough hits, think again because he's going to show y'all. Like Kendrick is not going to disappoint. <laughs> Trust me when I say this. And there are a lot of people that he could bring out. He could definitely recreate the whole pop out show. He could bring not. out Rihanna <laughs> from Loyalty. He could bring out Janet Jackson for Poetic Justice. How iconic would that be? I mean, there's a lot that he could do, so I'm definitely looking that would not make sense. to his show. And I have to say, <laughs> so she's just gonna be in the back the whole time saying, In the thunder and rain. That's all she's gonna say the whole time. I mean, I guess you could like double it into her song and then she performs that whole part, but then no, because Drake is on that song. That would not be a good idea. Impressive is messy. He played this whole beat with Drake masterfully because if you remember on First Person Shooter, Drake was bragging about him and J. Cole being big as the what? We big as the Super Bowl. Girl. But who ended up actually landing that Super Bowl halftime show? Mm. Kendrick Lamar. Mm. I mean, this is just crazy, crazy, crazy. But you know something? Even though I'm excited to see Kendrick perform, I feel weird about how this whole thing came about. Like, there are some politics involved that is making me go, hmm. Girl, you only said this because Nikki got a problem with it. <laughs> you gotta ask who selected Kendrick Girl. to the halftime show? Jay Z. Jay Z is the curator of the halftime show. He and his company, Rock Nation, have a deal with the NFL. Why are y'all acting like he's the only person to make decisions and he's this mastermind and nobody else is involved in decision making? That usually never ever happens. When there are big decisions made, there are multiple people involved. So they're giving Jay Z a bit too much credit. Yes, he's a powerful man, he's a billionaire, et cetera, et cetera, but I highly doubt he's the only person involved in making the decisions. So he has a like lot this. of influence on who gets to perform. Yes, yeah. you have some input. By how do you know? How do y'all know these things? The whole city also gets a say so. Y'all don't know Jay what's happening. Has a big influence as well, and people should not. Try I hate how them. people. I mean, you can. No, them. no, it's not about downplaying. I just hate how y'all act like y'all know what's happening and you don't. Especially you, impressive. <laughs> You always acting like you in the rooms with these people and you a fly on the wall and you know what's happening. Y'all don't say I think or maybe he has you speak in, in definite terms. Like he he has a lot of pull and he has a lot of influence and he making a decision. Y'all don't know these niggas. Y'all don't know what's happening. Com. They explicitly say they spearhead the selection of the performers for the halftime. That's just Rock Nation. With production and promotion. Do you they understand that's not just Jay Z? So Jay-Z has a lot of influence, which is why for the past four years, we've seen nothing but black acts. It's a nation. <laughs> and that's a good thing. I have to give props to Jay-Z for that because he really put on for the culture. And I'm not mad that he picked Kendrick either. He probably picked him for some that's other reasons too. Well. It's possible that they might be doing business with each other. I wouldn't be surprised to hear about a PG Lane and Rock Nation partnership in the future. But I think the more glaring reason or the more glaring suspicion why Jay-Z chose Kendrick to headline the halftime show is because he probably has an issue with Drake. Girl. Because why would you ask Drake's biggest op to headline the halftime show? <laughs> like, you gotta ask these questions. It's a little odd. And it kind of makes me think that Jay-Z don't really know with weird. Drake anymore. And I do know Jay and Drake have a history of throwing stuff at each other, but it was never a serious issue, per se. It was just healthy competition. Uh, I, think, I think Jay has a lot of respect for me, and he's aware of the massive Drake's amount of respect right. that I have for him at the end of the day. And I think we both enjoy the, um, we both enjoyed our moments of, you know, him, you know, checking, checking a young boy and me trying to 
be like, nah, I'm here, you know? Like, <laughs> Even though the competition between them was somewhat friendly, it got to a point where it was a little cutthroat at times because there was a point when Drake and Lil Wayne were supposed to do a collaborative album and Jay-Z and Kanye stole that idea and made Watch the Throne. And Kanye admitted that they did this because they were nervous about how big Drake was getting. I mean, Lil Wayne already had Jay-Z a little shook and then Drake came in and he had both him and Kanye shook. I mean, especially Kanye. And so they came together to make Watch the Throne to one-up them. And this, of course, rubbed Drake and Wayne the wrong way. You know, that, we still got to do that album. Yes, yes, you still got to do that. other guys that are coming out with the album, too. There's two other guys that are coming out. We can't do that. Two other rappers that are coming out with the album together. I don't know where they got that idea, but... I took the bitch home. I asked her what she want to watch. She said, surely not the throne. Me and Hope would have never made Watch the throne. That's a hater. This album is iconic. Now the whole Watch the Throne drama wasn't that serious at the end of the day. It was really all about competitiveness and machismo, and that's what hip hop is. It's a sport and rappers compete. But things got a little bit more intense. And there is this belief that the tides turn when Drake refused to join Jay-Z with his whole Tidal venture. At one point, Jay-Z was trying to push his own streaming platform, Tidal, and he got all of the big names in the industry to be on board. The only person who wasn't on board Drake. was Drake. Drake ended up signing a deal with Apple, and Apple was Tidal's rival company. And he threw shots at him on both. Jay Z the wrong <laughs> way. And if you that. notice, after this Ain't happened, that. things started to hit the fan for Drake. One of his reference tracks was leaked. He was exposed for having a ghostwriter, and Jay Z's artist Meek Mill began to attack him. If you look back on that, that really wasn't a coincidence. It seemed like it was orchestrated, right? Just like it seemed like it was orchestrated that Kendrick and Future and all of these guys in the hip hop industry started coming at Drake this year. And even though Drake is not innocent, you know, he has thrown subs in his music. He slept with some of these guys' women. Yeah, He's he even did done all them dirty. Why y'all trying to connect Jay Z to so all this? He's not innocent. Y'all weird, but bro. it is really interesting to see how so many artists at one time started teaming up against him, and it seemed like an orchestrated plot to take him down. Uh, and some might say that Jay Z had his hand in the whole thing. Who knows? Also, it didn't occur to me until just now, but didn't Drake side with Tory Lanez against Jay-Z's artist, Megan Thee Stallion? Didn't he imply that Megan lied about getting shot in his song, Circle Loco? I don't know. That's another thing to think about. And who knows? Maybe yeah. Jay-Z is punishing him <laughs> by recruiting his op, his biggest op, Kendrick, to headline the halftime show. And not only that, Jay-Z's affiliates like Elliot Wilson and Jack Dorsey have also been mocking Drake. And that's not a coincidence either. It really now makes sense that Drake decided to link up with 50 Cent because he needs an ally, an ally who's not afraid of Jay-Z. 50 has had his issues with Jay-Z too. And it was even put out there that Jay-Z didn't want 50 to perform at the Super Bowl, but the only reason why he made an appearance is because Eminem put his foot down and said he's not performing without 50. Jay, you, know, you gotta remember, he didn't want 50 at the Super Bowl. That was crazy. They was trying to get him to do the Super Bowl without me. And what happened? But when Nori, Nori was the big homie, Jay Z. Right. I have to ask him this straight up. Who is the people that's on in the foul? And he said to me, the white guy called for 50 cents. Who's the white guy? Him and them called directly for 50. He said, I can't do it if I can't break 50. I don't know. 50 never told me that, but I don't, I think, I don't think Jay ever did. I don't know. Yeah. It's competition. You got to think. 50 always makes Why competition. Why do I want to connect this to Jay. Kendrick and Drake? I start Kendrick. saying crazy stuff, baby, because I'm not looking at the whole. Now that's your big homie. The image yourself after that gay painter. 50 got beef with, with, with everybody. This doesn't surprise nah, me. Give me the Even Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce. It's when he started to receive the 16, but that 16 seconds. He ran since he's been with Beyonce. Now, I do want to move on and talk about the whole little Wayne drama because a lot of people were upset that Jay-Z chose Kendrick to perform at the halftime show instead of Lil Wayne. The Super Bowl will be in New Orleans next year. That's Wayne's hometown, and he has already expressed interest in headlining the halftime show. Ooh, Wayne finna be in the Super Bowl, y'all. We finna get a Wayne halftime show. Like, Wayne, right, what right. you do to Super Bowl? 
Question, no, I would not lie to you. I have not, I have not got a call. Hey, Jay, <laughs> like I'm that, so. folk, Jay. But we all praying. You know, we praying. We keeping our fingers crossed. I'm working hard. I'm gonna make sure this next album and everything I do is killer. So I'm gonna make it very hard for them. To, I want to just make it hard for them not to not to let the boy. So Wayne absolutely wanted to do it, and I'm sure Jay Z was aware of this. However, he chose Kendrick instead, and some people feel like this was a hater move. Like, how can you snub Lil Wayne? Did he snub him because maybe he wasn't in the best condition to perform and he would be a liability? Who knows? Did he snub him because he doesn't want him to bring out Nicki and Drake? That could be a possibility because Nicki and Drake don't kiss the ring. <laughs> but it also could be that Jay-Z doesn't want any dealings with Young Money, period, because of the deal that fell through with him and Birdman and Lil Wayne. Now, if you remember, Jay-Z was trying to sign Young Money at one point, and this is during a time when Lil Wayne was financially struggling and he was going through a legal battle with Birdman and Cash Money. He wanted to pull his label Young Money away from Cash Money, and Young Money had Nicki and Drake on there, and we know Nicki and Drake are very lucrative artists. So Jay-Z was really eyeing that whole situation. He saw that Wayne was in a bind, and he wanted to help him because he really wanted to acquire young money. So he used the strategy that he typically does. What he does is he likes to court artists. He likes to lure them away from their label situation so he can sign them instead. He tried to do this with 2 Chains. He wanted to sign him, but at the time 2 Chains was in business with his manager DJ Tech, and he thought it would be disloyal to leave to the situation with DJ Tech to go sign with Jay-Z. Hove told me that you want to do business with you, and you turned him down. So this is the real story about this, and, and I'll probably, probably haven't even told you the whole story. No. So this is what happened. So after Kanye um, called every day, I got a call from, from Hove, and Hove was like, I want you to come to New York. I heard, heard you making a lot of noise, and the only reason, to clarify, the only reason that I, want, I did not go is because I said, can I bring my buddy Tech with me? I said, DJ Tech, he's like, why you want to bring that DJ for? But I'm trying to tell them that, bro, help me get to the point where I'm on your radar. But I, and I just chose loyalty. And they were just like, no, nah, we need you by yourself. And I just chose to like, chill out. Jay-Z also lured Megan Thee Stallion away from Carl Crawford and 1501 Certified Entertainment. He would do little things for her, and it was very easy for him to lure her away and get her to sign to his management company, Rock Nation. And Rock Nation, they came to me, and I mean, they just started helping, like, just with random stuff. Like, I, I had to get myself enrolled back in school, and they, they <laughs> yeah, helped with that. the whole process. Wow. Yeah, so, I mean, like, it, it was a whole, a whole big old thing. It just felt like a family over there. So I was like, I definitely got to come over here. And it, I was so shook because Jay-Z just, like, walked in my meeting, and I was like, what? Wow. Now, Jay-Z tried to use his luring tactic on Wayne. He paid off his taxes. I think he had, like, $14 million that he owed in taxes, which is a lot of money, but Jay-Z helped him pay it off. He helped him when he was at his lowest point. And to be honest, what he did for Wayne was really big because nobody was willing to look out for him like that. Mm. Nobody had the means to look out for him like that. So I will say Jay-Z was a real one for helping him out of his situation at that time. However, he wasn't doing it completely out of selflessness. He wanted something in return. He was trying to lure That's Lil Wayne nature, away from bro. Birdman and he <laughs> wanted to acquire Young Money yeah. so he could also have Drake and Nicki Minaj under his thumb. But it wouldn't work because Birdman put his foot down. Yeah, so, uh, so trying to you and Young Money. Yeah, okay. now you're trying to well, you're doing the already. Yeah, so, already. Yeah. What he was doing was he just trying to help wow. in any form and fashion. Wow. So, you know, if I got to sign your mom, man, whatever I got to do to help you out and win situation you're going through right now is um yeah is that did change just a good guy man just a good guy it was nothing but a simple thing just a good how y'all calling jay-z calculated and all he tried to lure them and make it seem like he's this evil sinister person who has these ulterior motives but the people who are actually in the situation who actually know what's going on are saying he, he's a good guy oh he really helped me out a lot But all right. Friend to friend. Impressive knows better than everybody. Simply. Lil That's Wayne. All it was. I just want to help you, man. In any way I can. Let's keep it like Jay Z. You know what I mean? He helped me when I was really, really, really down. 
They don't want me to talk about it, don't want me to tell nobody, they don't want me to tell nobody. That man helped me with my tax. Bench a little Wayne with. I know that you guys were this close to signing away. What happened with that deal? Because, I mean, they got to, I mean, Wayne was damn near saying he was Rockefeller, and then it just went left. The truth is, I, you know, after I had the, um, I had a meeting with Wayne, um, you know, I had a relationship with Baby, so I felt it was only right to uh, call him. Mm -hmm. You know, I called them out of respect, like, yo, I was talking to Wayne, uh, just letting you know, boom, boom, boom. So after that, I think we received a, a letter at our office for like torturous interference. <laughs> oh, and I was like, whoa, oh, this force. This is do that? It was like, whoa. <laughs> and it just all went from there. So Jay Z's attempt to snatch young money away did not work. And, you know, there was no business that he could do with Lil Wayne, Nicki, and Drake. And it was frustrating because he wanted to make some her. money off of them. And I know it was annoying because they kept getting bigger and bigger, which is why the industry sent people to try to take them down. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is probably one of the reasons why Jay-Z probably did not select Wayne for the halftime show. It could be due to that failed business deal with Young Money. And a lot of people didn't like the fact that Wayne was snubbed. In fact, his daughter, Regine Carter, said they envy greatness. Birdman also said, Hayden is for real. These ends P. Nicki Minaj, Drake, Lil Wayne, Young Money, Cash Money, Billionaires, I make these ends respect us on Gladys. Lil Wayne's manager, Fabian, said, confused, disappointed, angry, but most of all, inspired. We'll never again be in a position or have a goat in a position where we're at the mercy of someone else's decision. We will make the decisions. Master P and Lil Boosie spoke out and talked about how unfair it was that Wayne wasn't going to be yeah, headlining. The it, rapper yeah, Juvenile also spoke out. Oh, y'all do 11 Super Bowls in New Orleans, man. Y'all have yet to put a hip-hop artist from New Orleans on a damn Super Bowl. But this time, it really stick hit hard when you don't have Lil Wayne this, on the show. Bro. I don't see how y'all don't have Lil Wayne doing a halftime show. Cameron and Mace also oh, called Jay-Z out for not letting Wayne do the Super Bowl. Yeah. Listen, you don't get Lil Wayne in New Orleans for the Hi, Super Bowl. Boys. There's no reason so why Lil Wayne should not be performing the Super Bowl. There's one person who's stopping this. <laughs> Lil Wayne had a problem with somebody before who's kind of part of the organization running it. This is payback. Who's that? Who's Lil Wayne artist? Drake. Yeah, that is. This is this. Hey, man, this, this age is this, crazy. It's crazy, yeah. bro. bro. Y'all are bro, so goofy. Like, hey, like, 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 yeah. The irony, the irony, because y'all are hating at this big age. <laughs> y'all hating at y'all big age. Because this is what this really comes down to. This is not y'all trying to uplift Wayne. This is y'all trying to shit on Kendrick. Let's call it what it is. That's what it's about. Because, again, nobody was talking this talk previous years, bro. Whatever. That you probably don't know what's God, going goofy. on. To be totally honest with you, so we'll Stay mad. He's soon. still performing. He's still performing. And y'all going to keep crying about it. It's still happening. What's up? Little Wayne. Let's call me out here. Fuck out of here. It's egregious. Nicki Shut Minaj up. also spoke up in defense of Lil Wayne and was bold enough to throw shade at oh, Jay-Z. She said one him. end took a knee, the other end took the bag. He gonna get you ends in line every effing time. Now, what is she referring to? She was referring to Colin Kaepernick being blackballed from the NFL because he took a knee in protest against police brutality I against black people. And Jay-Z seemed to support Colin yeah, at first. Yeah, I mean, he even wore his jersey. But then Jay turned around and signed a deal with the NFL and said, we're past kneeling. <laughs> he said, forget what Colin talked about. I'm trying to get this money. <laughs> what are we going to do? You know what I'm saying? So we should millions and millions of people or we get stuck on Colin not having a job. <laughs> okay. I think we passed kneeling. <laughs> and we showed that past it, didn't we? <laughs> Man, that's messed up. All y'all fake ass niggas got past it because everybody was trying to boycott NFL, da, 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 but then y'all kept watching it. Y'all, we still tuned in to the halftime shows, etc., etc. So everybody hypocrites who had a problem with that when when that happened and was trying to like be anti NFL. Y'all, everybody start watching it again and, and kept supporting it. So call out everybody then. The Nikki hell? also said this got everything in the world still spiteful and evil, disgusting. Be happy, I beg. 
Go F and be happy, dude. In rap business and women business, when you got the politicians and the police, you good, though. She also said, I tried to tell y'all, but y'all wanted brunch. <laughs> I'm on an F and roll. Not Wait, want brunch. Hack, hack. So she's referencing how people want to overlook things because they want to go to Jay-Z's Rock Nation brunch. She also said, denying a young black man what he rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your no one is 50 years your old, hatred though. for Drake and Nicki right. got you punishing Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, the GOAT. Nola, what's good? Eminem stood firm on having 50 Cent come out, a white man. It's sad. House and word teams. But it's good. F them. No loyalty? Well, them ends will keep sunning you. She also said this that kind of had me gagging a little bit. She said, God forbid if Wayne has to leave this earth right now, the culture would be in mourning. That's why so many people keep say saying that? give our legends their flowers while they are still people around. People giving his flowers. Sitting Not around confused. all day playing games with people's life and legacy. God ain't sleep. G. Robinson, you will learn too very soon. So G. Robinson used to work at Rockefeller. He was under Jay-Z's guidance. And then he became Nikki's manager at one point, but they fell out clearly. <laughs> she also said, want ends to suck his D for granted. Ooh. Want them to suck his yeah, this was not D to the video. do a halftime show. Ooh. Ooh. LOL. Glad I did it already. Meaning that she performed at the halftime show already. Madonna brought her out years ago. She also said, threatening any outlet who shows me love. Nigga, if you don't get gone. <laughs> wow. That was a lot. That was a lot. And she also responded to somebody who pointed out the fact that Rock Nation kept tagging their brand to her brand. And she said, yep, everyone's aware. Clearly they don't care. So why should I? What I'm going to do, child. She also went on to say, you can love and respect Kendrick and still love and respect Wayne. Even Kendrick loves and respects Wayne. Every real rapper loves and respects Wayne. Nikki was standing 10 toes down behind Wayne, and I don't blame her. I mean, he helped her career. But this whole situation kind of showed me that the beef is real. The beef is real between Jay-Z, Rock Nation, and Young Money. It's real. It's real. And honestly... Is this really about her trying to support Lil Wayne, though? Because she's been calling out Jay-Z for a minute now, and Rock Nation, and Desiree, and the Demons, and they doing this, and they trying to bring me down. So, I mean, is this really about Lil Wayne? Is it? Is it? I hate that this whole situation is dampening Kendrick Lamar's moment, because this is a big moment for him, and I think he's going to do a great job. I wouldn't be surprised if up. he did try to get Wayne to show no, up at the halftime, don't. Please even don't. though... I don't know if that's going to happen, bro. but if he bro. put on for New Orleans and Eat brought dick, all these bro. New Orleans rappers out. Bring everybody from the West Coast on the stage. <laughs> yeah, now I think about it, yeah, let's recreate this moment. All the Bring all the West Coast rappers and crib walk on that uh, New Orleans stage. That's, that's what you do. Moment. That really would. Fuck everybody. Anyway, so what y'all think about... I already said what I had to say in the video yesterday. I feel the same way. I mean, this didn't change anything. It it definitely gave more information, though, for sure, and why people think that Jay-Z is the mastermind behind this. And she also showed more tweets. I didn't see those tweets <laughs> in the video yesterday. Her talking about sucking dick to, to perform. Like, girl, Jesus. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. Kendrick is still performing, so cry about it be mad about it <laughs> it's still taking place it is what it is he didn't get picked all right he didn't get picked y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you want to watch and i'll see you on the next one bye